Hey everybody, it's Sharon. This weekend I had the pleasure of visiting a state park on the coast of California between San Francisco and Santa Cruz. We know that for 10,000 years it was the site of a Native American tribe. We also know that on January 3rd, 1602, the Spanish explorer Don Sebastian Vizcano sailed here and mapped the area and named the point Point Año Nuevo for the new year. But why we visit today to the state park Año Nuevo is the northern elephant seal. This is their birthing grounds and their breeding grounds, especially during the winter months. So let's take a closer look. Before there was a state park, there was a dairy farm operated since 1850s by the Steele family. They built this barn in 1878, which today serves as a marine education center. Here you can learn the story of the northern elephant seal and how they've come back from the brink of extinction. By the 1880s, as many as 250,000 elephant seals had been killed for their blubber rendered into high quality lamp oil. By 1884, they were deemed extinct, but fortunately about 200 survived on a small island off Baja, California. That small rookery on Guadalupe Island was protected by the Mexican government in 1922 and eventually grew to all of the northern elephant seals you see today. And they are a unique species. The male, second in size only to southern elephant seals, can weigh up to 4,500 pounds and be 13 feet long. The females are about a third the size of the male, only 1,300 pounds and 10 feet long. The females arrive in December or January to give birth and they feed their pups for only a month before the pups are ready to be on their own. Then the female mates and goes back to the sea. As you can see from this chart, this time of year is the only time adult males, adult females, and pups are together. And the census tells us that today there are over 2,000 northern elephant seals here at Año Nuevo State Park. It's about a two-mile walk to get out to the elephant seals, but along the way we'll be passing some deer, some seabirds, and we'll also see that lone male elephant seal He's lost his battle to have a harem. Speaking of harems, here's one, a single male surrounded by many females and their pups. Only the largest males get to have a harem. Occasionally they'll fight about it, but more often they'll make loud noises to establish dominance. The males use their nose like a megaphone. You know, that nose that looks like an elephant's nose. The pups are 75 pounds when they're born, but after a month of feeding on mother's milk, they can be as much as 300 pounds, ready to go off on their own. Most of the elephant seals spend eight to 10 months in the ocean, so scientists attach tracking devices to follow along. They've learned that some males travel as much as 7,500 miles a year, and females 4,500 miles. They've learned that elephant seals can travel as much as 5,000 feet down into the ocean and stay underwater as much as two hours at a time. Today, officials estimate that the population of northern elephant seals has grown to about 200,000. And you can find them here at Año Nuevo State Park, as well as Point Reyes and San Simeon, California. Thanks for joining me today. Catch you later. Bye.